Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Before we get into it though, if you haven't already, please go ahead and click the subscribe button. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up for me. Today, I'm back to my DIYs and I'm super excited about it. I love DIYs. And I'm doing a fashion DIY, my favorite kind of DIY, so I'm really excited. Uh, today, I'm going to be doing like designer graphic tea dupes. And I've seen this video uh, one or two times, and when I've seen it, people have used transfer paper, but transfer paper has to have um, an inkjet printer to work, and I don't have a personal printer, and the printer in my apartment building is laser jet printer, and I went to a lot of different stores. I went to FedEx, I went to um, Staples, I went to like a lot of different stores and they even the public library they all had laser jet printers and I thought that was so weird so apparently laser jet printers are in, inkjet printers are out and trying to print anything on transfer paper is pretty much a no-go. But I wanted to really still do this so I tried to do it without transfer paper and I think they turned out really good. So I thought I'd show you guys how I did it, and because I'm not using transfer paper, it's even more affordable and even more doable. Do doable. So I'm just going to show you guys how I did it. Keep watching. For this DIY project, you'll need as many shirts as you plan to make, large printed out logos, acrylic paint, paint brushes, scissors, an X-Acto knife, cardboard, and glue. First, cut out your cardboard. Then, glue one of your printed out logos onto the cardboard that you just cut. With some extra cardboard underneath for added support so you don't cut through to the surface that you're cutting on, use an X-Acto knife to cut out the letters and the label that you've chosen. Remove the printed logo and pop out the cardboard logo. of cardboard between the front and the back layer of the shirts and then tape down the cardboard cutout. Next take an angled paintbrush and whatever acrylic color that you choose and go ahead and paint along the lines of the cardboard cutout. Once the paint is dry, go ahead and remove the tape and lift up the cardboard. You can repeat the same process for any designer logo that you want to create on your own t-shirt. And if you do, tag me so I can see them. Thanks y'all for watching and don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and if you have any questions, leave a comment. 